What's going on guys? In this video we're going to be giving you a very simple tag to your mesh to make it one of the most unstoppable concepts in the entire game. What's going on guys? My name is Cody and I want to thank you for taking the time to watch this video. If this is your first time visiting my channel, my channel is focusing on helping people become the best Madden player they can possibly become. And so if you're looking to get better at this game, I just want to encourage you to click the subscribe button at the bottom of the screen. It's completely free to subscribe and it just allows you to be able to stay up to date with the latest things happening here on the YouTube channel. Now, what we're going over today is the spread Y flex. We're going to be going over the mesh concept. This is one of my favorite plays. And I want to go over this play um, very specifically. This is a way that I used to run this play that you can't really do it anymore in Madden 21 due to EA patching motion snaps. I'm really hoping that in Madden 22, this is going to be fixed. I think it will. Uh, but if it isn't, this is a way that you can kind of create the same thing. It's just going to take you a little bit longer. So what we're going to do... Um, with this mesh concept here is what I like to use to do is the biggest problem with this corner route is if it gets jammed. And so um, you'll see right here that if they run man to man and they jam the corner, it's hard to get this thing open. As you can see right there, it's just not easy. And as you can see, it's a, it's just not a good look. Um, the other thing is now let me show you the same coverage. The only difference is I'm just going to shade coverage back. So I'm just shading coverage off. And what you'll notice is I've got a little bit more of an opportunity to run that, but I still can't really run that corner route against man coverage. And I want to be able to be able to beat man coverage, cover three, cover four. Another thing that you're going to notice is if I run this against cover three, you're going to notice that this outside uh, corner is going to jump the corner route. So this is outside third is going to jump. See that right there? And I can still throw it, but it's kind of shady. So the way that I like to, to get this open in Madden 20 was I love to just simply motion snap this route inside a step. And it would actually get this open pretty much against everything. The problem in Madden 21 is you cannot do that. You can't motion snap a route one step to the inside. So you see here, if I motion him in, he's not going to snap. See, I can't snap him until he gets all the way back across. But what I can do is I can motion him back back across the formation and snap him just right here just like this and now you'll see that that same concept that we were doing in Madden 20 is now effective in Madden 21. Now you might be asking what well, does this beat man to man because I know a lot of motion snap routes that used to beat man that no longer beat man in Madden well this route is going to not be one of those uh, examples. What I like about this is this is going to get your corner route open against pretty much anything the defense is going to do. As you see right here, it's just going to cook man coverage to the outside. That little motion snap is really what's going to get this open. It's really the secret sauce uh, of this play. You'll see here that I'm going to shade outside and I'm actually going to go ahead and I'm going to shade underneath just to try to take this corner route away. So you see when I'm motioning across, the defense has to adjust to it. Then I'm going to bring it back across just like this kind of snap it right over in here. And now you'll see again, we're able to cook man-to-man -man coverage right there. I had bad uh, click on. What you wanna do is you just wanna click on and you wanna kind of shield this from the opponent. Let me show you that one more time. So again, I'm gonna straight outside and underneath just to show you that that wasn't a fluke. And I need to plug in, looks like I need to plug in my, my uh, cord one second. While we're doing that, make sure to subscribe. And if you have not, already joined the text message membership it's the best way to do um the best way to get the free tips all you gotta do is just text me my number's in the top left hand corner but as you see we motion him across and then we're gonna motion him back across just like this and i'm just gonna snap him kind of right here and you see right there i'm able to and of course the one thing i would say with this is you want to let this route get outside a little bit and what's cool about this motion snap is we can now mix in some other things. I'm going to talk about that in just a second that are really, really good against man-to-man. -man. So anyways, just hang with me. So I'm going to motion him across. And then what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to motion him back. When I motion him back, I'm going to wait until he gets like, like to the outside of his man right there. Then snap. And look at that. We're beating man-to-man -to, -man to the outside. Just secure catch on the sideline. So it's really good against man coverage. It's really good against shaded down now just for the sake of the video i want to show this against uh shaded up man to man coverage so we're just shading the, the coverage up and what you're going to see we're going to motion him and then we're going to bring him back remember we're going to snap the ball right on the outside kind of edge just like that and you'll see this is absolutely going to cook shaded up man really easy read back shoulder throw basically is what we're creating now the cool part about this, we still have the rest of the concepts that we can run. So if we have Hot Route Master, we can run a, a little flat route, and then we can also run this deep skinny post 
to Mike Evans. What I love about that skinny post is it's going to pair very nicely with this motion out corner. So for example, if my opponent is in a max coverage, cover three Mabel specifically, you're gonna see that that post route is going to continually help us in opening up this corner out. So I just motion back, snap kind of right in that pocket. And now look at the square receiver, just pass. And I, of course, Brady, uh, I, I, I don't understand practice mode. I literally blitzed out take one per person and he still screwed up the entire tip. But what's gonna happen is a skinny post is going to cross the face of the of the um, the deep blue safety, and so you're gonna be able to get over the top of that. So let me show you that real quick. So again, I'm just gonna motion this guy back, and this pairs really nicely with everything else we're doing. So again, just snap him kind of right in that pocket. He's gonna hold that route. Look at that hold. Pass like that to the right, click on, and now you've got a cover three beater in your mesh concept. Not only can you throw your quick route to the mesh, um, to the mesh corner, but you can also now have a cover three bomb play in your disposal. So this is huge for me. This is a big breakthrough in this concept series. Um, I can't believe I've, I've not thought about this until this point, but I mean, it's such a simple little thing, just motioning that way, motioning back. But when you snap the ball, again, if we get him out here to the numbers, look, that corner is not going to dump down. And as you can see there, we're easily hitting this for an easy, easy dot. Now, the real cool part about this is we can put him on other routes other than just a corner. So when I motion him over here, if I have um, Hot Route Master, I can put him on a post. What's really cool about being able to put him on a post is now what we can do is now we can run Mesh post like mesh post with and maybe even tag a wheel to the back so now we can do this and that same snap and now he's going in a completely different direction see that right there really easy really really consistent so now we've created the ability from spread ace two by two to run a lot of really powerful concepts uh, that you can apply. So the, the next concept that I'll show you here really quickly here is the other thing that I can do from this is, and this is all the while, again, we're motioning him into a three by one set. So we basically have trips uh, to the right. So if we want to run, um, if we want to run this, we certainly can. Um, there's nothing wrong with this concept right here. This is one of my favorite concepts in the game as this post route. Now, what I might want to tell you, and this is what I would tell anyone that's going to run this concept is one of the things that you might actually consider is, especially if you have Hot Route Master, is putting him on a different route because what you're gonna see is if I put him on a crossing route, he's now going to get really, really deep. That motion cross or that everybody knows is really, really effective. Watch how this thing just cooks man coverage to the sideline. Easy read over the top. This is going to really challenge your opponent in terms of how he's gonna stop that circle receiver now, and what we're working him up to is the fact that he's going to have to use her. But what I like about this is we can do this to both sides now. This is what really makes this special. So now you see here, I can put a post to Mike Evans, and then I can motion him back across just like this and just snap him once he gets set. And then now I've got this nice little pat sail post that I can use in my air raid spread. So these are concepts that you can apply. Um, it's really got limitless application. You can do this like to do a lot of different things. Um, for example, another route combination that you can create uh, out of this is you can create this little corner post, uh, little, po little deep skinny post in the middle of the field. The reason I like this route right here is it, it's, it's just really good at getting over certain things. So we're basically creating the play um, from U-Trips pat slot out by doing something like that. So for example, let's just say you're facing um, like a cover three style defense. If I take triangle and put him on a corner route and then I motion over, and of course I screwed it up, but I, I'm gonna put, uh, I wanna put Evans on the skinny post. These are just little tricks that you can do out of the spread. And now what I can do on the back side of this is I can just create a simple curl read. I've still got an underneath drag over the middle, um, but this is a nice little spread concept because look how he pulls him out and then the safety obviously has to go back so you can now throw your corner. So this is how you can create a lot of really, really effective concepts just from one or two motions and using Hot Route Master. So thanks for watching the video. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope it helped kind of give you some things that you can use to make your mesh concept have some really, really creative uh, little tags within it. I think this is just the best concept in Madden. And if you're not using it, you need to be. So if you want to get my Air Raid Offensive Guide, you can get that down in the description. Thanks for watching the video. I hope you enjoyed it. 
And again, if you want to get the full air raid offense, you can get that down in the description.